Hey guys, it is me, um, and I'm back today to make a very quick video uh, that again is long overdue. I really should make more videos. This one, Jack Austin, who has been one of the supporters of this channel and everything I've been doing since the very beginning, has asked me very politely in a number of uh, comments to talk about um, how you put together a book. Uh, and it is actually a fascinating subject. And it, I think I've been putting off making a video about it because there's so much I want to talk about and I almost feel intimidated by it. But um, I just watched Zack Snyder's Justice League on HBO Max and it kind of inspired me because it was so interesting to see what we never normally get to see, which is um, a story that we have already seen because we saw in 2017, the Justice League movie completely reinterpreted in another way with another vision and it's funny because the 2017 movie wasn't great and the Zack Snyder Justice uh, League at four hours long I thought was was really really good I really enjoyed it I loved the amount of depth they put into Cyborg as a character and it completely got written out of the Joss Whedon version and even the airplane had its own uh, character arc which I just loved. And that, again, got reduced to, to like a line in the Joss Whedon version where Bruce Wayne's like, this plane's never going to get there in time. And uh, uh, Cyborg goes, she will for me. But in the, the Zack Snyder thing, they go through this whole thing about that's how this airplane doesn't fly. And then Cyborg comes in and speaks to it because flight is its purpose. I don't know. It was, uh, it was really interesting. And it made me think about how... Uh, storytelling as a whole is put together and it's something i've become so passionate about because it's fun it's it's like the best part of being not just a writer of a creative person you get to to create these stories in your head and you tell them and i found the other day i've been really struggling with like keeping up with writing every single day because i got some stuff going on in my life and when I got into the flow and when I was writing, it was amazing because I was in this big warehouse where my Knuckleheads Motorcycle Club live. And I was having conversations with these characters and writing them. And it was all real to me inside my head. And it's amazing. It's such a privilege to be able to do that and then to have other people read it as well. Isn't that amazing? Um, it's a great quote about reading. They said, reading is like meditation, except you're in somebody else's head. And what I love about sharing books with people, and my mother used to, you know, hand books to me all the time, and I probably only read about 10% of them. Uh, but the thing is, if a book really means something to you, and somebody really means something to you, you want to give them that book, because if they read it, that means for a second, your mind's existed in the same place, which was the mind of the author who wrote the book. And I don't know, there's something incredible about that. There's something metaphysical about storytelling. Anyway, I've gone on for three minutes and I haven't even spoken about storytelling yet. But how do you put together a story? How do you get to put, how do you put together a book? How do you organize a book? And I think that uh, books are split into three different, very separate, very important things. The first is the narrative. The narrative is what happens in your story. And uh, perhaps perhaps I shouldn't use the word story there. Your narrative is what happens to your characters. It is the cause and uh, the uh, cause and consequence of their actions that lead through to the conclusion of your story. And you know, if you didn't have the narrative, you wouldn't have anything at all. Uh, the second part of it is storytelling. How do you tell the story of that narrative? And this is something that is vitally important the most important part of the whole process but it's also the one a lot of people sort of gloss over they don't even think they're like oh well i know what happened in the story in, in my book so therefore you know i'm gonna write what happened in the story but um storytelling is is a very subtle craft that uh is the difference between what resonates with somebody and what doesn't resonate with somebody what speaks to somebody and storytelling, you have to think, that's gone uh, back in time to the, the first moments that uh, the, our ancestors were able to, to create language. They would tell stories. And the stories about always follow like a circular arc. They always follow this story of self-discovery. They always follow this, this period where there's a sacrifice. 
And telling a story this way is what makes it satisfying and memorable. And you could just list the events of what happens in your story, and that's fine. But if you tell them as a story and you tell them in that satisfying way, then it's what really makes all the difference. And finally, there's your writing. Uh, and your writing is how you tell uh, the story. You know, your narrative becomes uh, put into a story format. And then through the craft of writing, you tell that story. And what is interesting to me is narrative and writing are very, very important. And they're the things that can, you know, really, really... Uh, make a book sort of stand out however neither of these can exist without that story in the middle so you can have a book which tells really really exciting things but if it's not put together in the, the format of a story they don't quite resonate with people and you can have a book that is beautifully written but if the storyline doesn't resonate with people and have that satisfaction then it's more like an esoteric exercise in the English language than, than a story um, and if you take, you know, a really compelling narrative and really compelling writing and you put them together, that's reporting. Um, and, you know, that's absolutely fine. But it's the story that makes the real difference. I'm going to make three separate videos in which I discuss each of these ingredients. And then a last one in which I talk about bringing them all together. Uh, because these three things are things you need to know. And I'm trying not to make my videos go on for absolutely ever. Uh, so stand by for that. But Jack, it was a really, really, really interesting question that you put together. And I want to answer it in a way that uh, will be satisfying to, uh, to you, hopefully. So stay tuned. Um, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Ciao.